हाई फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब जनरली लाइक वैन वी डिस्कस दिस थिंग दैट वी शुड नॉट यूज एन एक्सपात प्लग इन एंड वी शुड राइट आर ओन एक्सपात सो द परसेप्शन अबाउट द एक्सपात प्लग इन इज दिस दैट एक्सपात प्लग इन जस्ट जनरेट द एक्सपात लाइक ऑटो जनरेटेड एक्सपात ओनली बट इट्स नॉट ट्रू एनी मोर विद सेलेक्टर सब यू कैन बिल्ड योर ओन एक्सपात यूजिंग सेलेक्टर सब इन मच मोर स्मार्टर वे विद अ मोर प्रिसाइज एक्यूरेसी एंड विद अ गुड रिजल्ट एज वेल अलॉन्ग विद सेविंग अलॉट ऑफ टाइम सो लेट मी शो यू क्विकली हाउ यू कैन यूज सेलेक्टर हब टू बिल्ड योर ओन एक्सपात विद अ गुड रिजल्ट लाइक ऑफकोर्स यू विल गेट द राइट रिजल्ट बिकॉज समटाइम्स मैनी टाइम्स विद लाइक सम ऑफ द सेलेक्टर्स लाइक सैरोडोम एस वी जी आई फ्रेम्स नेशनल सैरोडोम यू माइट नॉट गेट द राइट रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द डेव टूल्स कमांड एफ कंट्रोल एफ so that's what you will get it from selectors up so here uh, on selectors up website you just go to let's say we'll try to uh, i will show you on practice page so there here you go with the practice page this has all the really great scenarios which you can always refer here so right click inspect and we'll open the selectors up so i'm sure you know how to open it and there you go so let me just zoom in perfect i hope this will be visible now suppose we want to write x path for any element so this is like selectors of default window this will be also turned on so this will be generally shown so in in this way that you will get the auto generated so we want to build our own x path so what you can do here you can just turn off this toggle and turn off this toggle as well now this is absolutely something similar like what you have here in dev tools control plus f or command plus f but of course this is selectors hub so it has uh, this is a smart editor so it has more benefits it gives more accurate result it gives the absolutely right information about your x path and selectors so for an example i will show you side by side suppose we want to write x path for this field so you can here you can write your own x path like here you this is input id is equal to user id you want to write x path like this and the id value is user id here you can get the one result now same thing if you can type it here as well but the problem is like if you will be making any mistake all those things you will get it here in selectors hub which you can fix if you will make any mistake selectors hub shows you that what you are doing wrong what you are doing right here that makes your process really fast to build your own xpath as well as it helps you in learning like for an example if you want to uh, write xpath of course and uh, another good thing that if you want to write xpath with respect to other element as well you can build here as well like suppose we want to write xpath for this user email field with respect to user email this label then also you can write it here so uh, here this is the label this is the element so this label is the uh, preceding sibling of this input id so what we can do like here and this input is the following sib uh, sibling for this label so we want to write x path for this uh, enter email field with respect to this label so first we will write x path for this label i'm just adding in that same only because we have already written and here let me just copy this <laughs> so this we have written for label now we want for this field so you can just add forward slash and here you can add the like your method whatever you are writing following sibling and you can paste that uh, the x path of that element here and you can verify so this is the x path for this enter email field with respect to this uh, label so you can build your x path with respect to other element and access based x path a lot more things you can do it here you can also build your css selector suppose for this field you want to write css selector yes you can write css selector as well here just like id if it is id value you can write this and verify if you want to write in that format like tag name and then id equal to uh, attribute value that also you can do it here this will support like you would be able to verify your uh, shadow dom element selectors here like you inspect any element which is inside shadow dom you would be able to verify and you will be getting the right result if you will do anything wrong here it will let you know that x part doesn't support shadow dom if you want to uh, 
right x path and selectors for iframe element you can quickly do it like this element is inside iframe this one so here you can build your x path for iframe elements as well so all those things you would be able to do it here in selector so really quickly and you will be getting the like right result always suppose you want to uh, get all the links in this page so simply you just in uh, double forward slash a hit enter it will give you all the results correct results and you can scroll and see all the values here while if you do uh, double forward slash a here this is giving the string match as well like double forward slash a this one so this is 120 which is a wrong result in case of shadow dom also you will get the wrong result here you can verify svg <laughs> x path and all here and if you want to like use a smart editor like more advanced feature of selector sub that you don't want to type each and everything here in that case like you have seen that so what you do like here when we are writing x path for this user email field we are we have to type each and everything right input and then at the rate id i'm typing everything but if we want to get like a smart editor auto suggestion while typing itself it should come in drop down in that case you can turn on this toggle and now you see the magic you see we need not to type each and everything that's it that's way you would be able to complete your own x path you can build your own x path within seconds while if you will type x path here for this element you will have to in like you your uh, dom used to go up and down you have to inspect that element again and again and by inspecting element again and again you are just wasting your time we are not learning you will not learn anything out of it right so this way it will help you a lot to build your own x path and css selector within second with a smart way and you will get the right and accurate result i hope this will help you a lot to learn a lot more things and here there are like lot more features you can save you, your x path for future purpose you can get extract to, those values so this will help a lot you to save these uh, save your time and uh, improve your productivity as well as get the right result while building your own x path and css selector with that thank you i hope you like this video please let others know about this great innovation and help them to save their time and get the right information about XPath and CSS selector and the right way of writing and verifying XPath and CSS selector. Thank you so much. Please like and share and let me know uh, if any use case you want me to uh, create tutorial for selectors of for XPath, CSS selectors, etc. And if any feature you want to see in the selector sub, do let me know in the comment section. Also, please let me know how selector sub is helping you in your work. Thank you. Thank you so much.